the perfect fairway finder or the perfect club to hit that par five in two. These are the best fairway woods of 2024. That might just be the best fairway wood shot I've ever hit in my life. That's an absolute beauty, isn't it? Bad. But... <laughs> right, guys and girls, welcome back to the Golf Minute YouTube channel. Today, you join me and Johnny on a very blustery day here at La Hacienda on the Lynx course on the 11th hole. And we're gonna show you the best fairway woods of 2024. Many brands to choose from, all with some new releases for 2024. Johnny, what's your opinion on fairway woods? Are they a staple in your bag? I have one. It's probably the cleanest club in my bag. <laughs> it's a little bit of a last resort when the driver isn't playing ball. Well, luckily, first up, the most forgiving fairway wood of 2024. So, Alex, why have we picked the tailor-made QI10 as the most forgiving fairway of 2024? So, Joe, that's a really good question. There is so much to choose from in terms of forgiveness. I will say you can't really pick a bad model in 2024 for yeah. a forgiving fairway wood. But the QI10 range provides a lot of forgiveness for every single model. We've got the LS, the staple one, which is the V-Steel, which is just the QI10. Then we've got the Max. The Max is super duper forgiving. And that means you can help get it off the ground. Now, it does kind of apply to different people. The Max, I think, is more for people who maybe swing it a little bit slower. Whereas we, today, we've got the QI10, the V-Steel, which is a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Explosive speed, forgiveness. So I think what Taylor have done is they focused on the Rather than speed, because we all know with the COR, USGA regulations, speed's kind of up here, right, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's maxed out. Forgiveness, they still say, can be improved. So Interesting. what they've done is they've improved that MOI as much as possible from model to model. Maybe not as much as the drivers, but with the MOI increase and also some aesthetics, what do you think looking down at a dress for that bad boy? Yeah, I, I think it looks lovely down at the dress. They've kept it relatively simple. Exactly. You have this kind of like carbon underlay. We've got some very faint branding back here. Yeah. But yeah, overall looks really clean, really nice. Clean, I think is the exact word. I like a clean finish. I think yeah. you do too. Yeah, yeah. And this is very subjective here in terms of the looks. The best looking fairwood of 2024 is the Titleist TSR. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd TSR agree with that. two, all, all of them, they are incredible. That's a different category, but in terms of forgiveness, I think what Taylorman have done here, they provide looks and forgiveness into a model that makes it easy to hit the fairway. Even for me. Even, which we'll find out now. We will say there's a 40 mile an hour in right up my bottom from right to left. So Johnny may hit the left fairway, which is number 10, but we shall see. Give it a go. I am, I am in awe of you, Mr. Percival. That is pure. Well done, That mate. might just be the best fairway wood <laughs> shot I've ever hit in my life. Well, well, and it felt fantastic. <laughs> exactly. And we'll show you how good that is over at Custom Golf Works in Woking. Right, we are back at Custom Golf Works with the most forgiving Fairywood of 2024. Again, we've got the flagship model, but we are going to talk about the Max in this Fairywood because it is an absolute beast yeah. of a golf club. Myself and Johnny here hit the just the normal QI10. And what I did really like about this is, I will say it's not, it's fast, but that overall consistency and feel off the face, similar to the hybrid as well, um, really makes it one to beat, I think, in 2024. Beautiful feel, beautiful sound, great numbers. Yeah, hard to beat, yeah. but not unbeatable. Not unbeatable, no. It holds the kind of middle ground really nicely between forgiveness and distance. And yeah, the profile, it's actually quite tall yeah. from bottom to top. And actually the QI10 Max is, is longer heel to uh, toe, but slightly more shallow. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the overall profile is is very good and one that will probably talk, appeal talk to, to me about the QI10. Talk to me about the QI10 Max. Sorry, interrupt just there. That's okay. <laughs> it's like you're done now. Um, <laughs> talk to me about the QI10 Max because you've got it in the bag. I do. You? Yeah, the QI10 Max. I hit it a couple of times and kind of instantly fell in love with it. I've not actually been someone who's really used three woods a lot. Uh, in the past, I've always found them quite hard to hit consistently over the tee and the fairway, but the QI10 Max is just an absolute breeze to hit. Right. Launch is high, still has good distance. It's yeah. not as not as long as this one, but in terms of being able to hit it from a variety of lies, excellent fairway finder. The additional length from heel to toe provides huge amounts of forgiveness, and it's just yeah, it's become one of my most used clubs. She's uh, she's quite a big girl, isn't she? She is, yeah. yeah. But actually, the profile, as we've mentioned before, is actually quite flat to the ground, um, yep. which I personally love. Right. Okay. Well, it's good to hear you found a fairway finder. I'm yep. still yet to find one, but I think the, the QI10 Max would suit a lot of people who probably struggle to really Absolutely. find that unicorn yeah. type yeah, of club, yeah. right? Forgiveness is important for a fairway wood, but so is distance. So. Let's head back to La Hacienda and talk about 
the longest fairway wood of 2024. Uh, so Alex, we've seen the best in the business of forgiveness, yeah. but in terms of distance, who's your number one? Well, Johnny, we've gone for the Cobra Dark Speed, which is actually a continuation from their drivers as well. Chuck me that ball. So, funnily enough, a very different conversation we're about to have when we're comparing the old forgiveness from TaylorMade to Cobra. Cobra have decided to go for Batman. <laughs> so they've, rather than going for the forgiveness kind of large, they've gone for kind of a sleeker look, more yeah. aerodynamic that we can clearly see in this dark speed here. This is the flagship model, so the X, you've got the LS and the Max as well. And enjoy it, well, take a look at this for me. Would you say that looks that of a forgiveness when down at a dress? It's compact, right? It is compact. It's compact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd say it's probably, I mean, we'll have to look at the actual stats behind it, but that looks like a smaller head than the TaylorMade. It is a smaller head than the yeah. TaylorMade. So yeah, TaylorMade are going sense. for larger. This is what I've done from Stealth 2 towards yeah. now the QI10. That looks a lot more compact, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so this, what they've gone for, when I was talking with Cobra about it, rather than saying, oh, we're going to hit more fairways. We're going to like, we're going for speed. We're, we're going to get for... you as far down there as we exactly. can. Exactly. Yeah. I'm not really surprised by that from yeah. Cobra. You've got to think, their main ambassador to a sense, we've got Ricky Fowler, we got Lexi Thompson, but then Kyle Berkshire, we got speed. So I like the route that Cobra's taking with this. Is distance the main thing going forwards? What do you think? I think it depends what kind of player you are. Exactly. It's a bit of a risk, but I would say a lot of people could go into the Max rather than the X. I would personally go into the LS, but I hit the driver, and the driver's an absolute beast. We saw yeah, that the yeah. other day, didn't we? Oh, wow. To the moon. I hit it well. The low spinning bomber. I wouldn't say this is as much. It spins a bit, which I'll show you over at Custom Golf Works. But right now... I have to say, just before yeah. you hit this, yeah, in terms of aesthetics, I think Cobra have really upped their game. Yeah. It's, it's typically a brand that I associate with quite bright colorways. There's yeah. normally quite a lot going on. And this is super simple. Sure. There's some lovely detailing, but the full black matte finish, I think, looks really smart. It's, it, I completely agree with you. It's, it could, it's good to see brands like Cobra listen now mm. going into 2024, because I mean, we've had this conversation. It doesn't need to be loud and rare. No. No, I think no, it's no, almost, it needs to be cool, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, I yeah. know cool is subjective. Yeah. A 65 year old man could have nice red and whatnot, but I think having this is almost very black. Yeah, it just looks really sleek. Yeah, yeah, really sleek, and that's good. So let's see if I can back this up. With the fairway wood shots. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's drawing. That's it's, what, I mean, that's going to be, if it's not in a bunker. No. It's a great shape, though. It's a lovely flight as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. It really is. I mean, the thing is, I, it, we'll, we've compared them. We'll compare them over at Custom Golf Works, but that flight is quite different. I wouldn't say it's that high spinning. Okay. I'd say it's kind of more neutral. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not promoting that much forgiveness, but I love that. Yeah. And a lot of you guys would love that. But to really put it to the test, let's see if Custom Golf Works loves it on the GC quad. So, Cobra, <laughs> longest fairway wood of 2024. This thing is a beast. The LS version is even more of an animal. We've yeah. gone for the flagship, the standard version today for our testing, and we've done that for all of these models here for best fairway woods. Johnny, these numbers are um, pretty bloody good, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, yeah. yours more impressive than mine, but still, I would be very, very pleased if I was getting my three wood out to 257. That, yep. would, uh, that would fill a very nice slot in my bag just behind driver. Yep. Um, so yeah, pretty blistering ball speeds off this bad boy. Yeah. Um, and definitely, I think, quite convincingly, the longest we've seen so far in 2024. Yeah, yeah. and then some. So mm. I, I know we're talking about the flagship model. If I went into the LS model, I could probably add an extra 15 yards because that spin would climb down. But if we're actually looking at these numbers overall, usually when we're kind of talking about like fast speed, power and stuff, we're talking about low spin, low launch. But the main thing I think here is actually that ball speed. Yeah. The ball speed there is really consistent as well. You can see that a dispersion between me and Johnny of about one mile an hour, which leads for me only, well, actually I've hit several shots here and they're all two. 166 yards. And despite it being the longest, and it's something we have said actually about the dark speed drivers, is that perhaps forgiveness falls off a touch compared to TaylorMade and Callaway. I was actually really impressed at how straight I was able to keep this um, fairway wood. I mean, yeah. you can look at my graph, there is a little bit of left right disparity, but in terms of the kind of like the big left miss or the big right miss, big left miss or the big right miss, it wasn't um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it potentially could be. Yeah, 100%. And I mean, we could either go into the max fairwood version of this versus mm -hmm. the X, which would actually offer even more forgiveness. So I think with Cobra, what I've done really well with the fairwoods is there is a, obviously a model for everyone. If yeah. you want to go for that massive amount of speed, the X on the LS is definitely one to go for. We've talked about distance. We've talked about forgiveness. Let's combine the two and go back to La Hacienda and talk about the overall best fairway wood of 2024. So why Callaway? So Johnny, chuck me that ball and I'll tell you. What we've talked about in this video is looks, distance, forgiveness, and 
What Callaway have been able to do with the new Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke is blend that all into one, better than any other brand. Now, I will say this is a little bit like Marmite. I've said this in other videos, the smoke finish, some might not like it, but I'll be honest with you. Most important bit is down at address here. And this is what they've done so, so well compared to the previous iteration, the Paradigm. Johnny, tell me your opinion of this, looking at down at address. I yeah. love the carbon crown. What do you think? Yeah, I think it looks fantastic. I mean, we said it for the drivers. If I could have changed one thing, the I would logo. have removed the air smoke branding. But other than that, I like this lovely step from matte to gloss carbon. I think it looks really, exactly. really good. Exactly. I think, I think there's a slight with the logo. There could be a little bit of, oh, I wish it was a little bit cleaner. I understand why they've done it. Absolutely. You want it to be a bit louder, don't you? And also you? they want people to recognize it without having to see the sole when it's on TV and all that kind of stuff. 100%. From a marketing point of view, I get it. But what I really like about this down at address is something that maybe we didn't like with actually a driver is you can really see the face. It's very visible. We've also got some white lines on the face. So it's very easy to hit looking down at it. Now, for a driver, it looked a bit weird, didn't it? Because yeah. it almost looked a little bit open. With a fairway wood, it looks bang on. And so we're hitting it off the tee here. I would be just as confident hitting it off the fairway. Now, similar to Johnny, I struggle hitting fairway woods anywhere. It is the cleanest club in my bag. I just use it as, well, a mantelpiece almost. With this, I would very happily game this. I still don't know what I'm gonna game. We'll find out later this year. But this, I think for me, is number one. Now, there are many models in play. We've got the Max, we've also got the Triple Diamond, we've also got the Max D. So there are a lot of models to choose from. Make sure you go and try them all out because there are some differences between these. Right, Jozza, let's smash this down the middle. Oh yeah. That's an absolute beauty, isn't it? That's gonna come down with snow on it, mine. I mean, the wind is taking it slightly. The wind has eaten that for breakfast. But that will just be right side of the fairway, I think. Yeah, which is good. And I tell you what, we haven't really talked about feel, have we, that much in this no. video. And that feel, I think, is subjective almost in a way. Some people like TaylorMade, Callaway and whatnot. I love how soft this feels. It's, all, it's a blend of TaylorMade and Titleist, I okay. would say, which yeah, is yeah. a really good blend to have. To show why we like this, to show why we love this, we're going to take this over to Custom Golf Works and show you why it's number one. This is the best fairway wood of 2024 for Golf Magic, the Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke Max. Now, it's very, very close, as we've said, from many of these overall best ofs. Taylor made very close towards Callaway. But one thing I really liked about Callaway is just how it looks down at a dress. I think that carbon crown with its hexagonal pattern does yeah, make it, looks it lovely. A, a really contender for the best fairway I've ever seen, apart from that stupid logo there. Anyway, but as well as that, the sole too, it's just a really, overall, it's a nice looking fairway wood. But we're here to talk about data. Do you want to talk to me about the data that we've got here? Because I think you were striping it really well at Custom Golf Works. I mean, it barely left the middle of the fairway. Um, no, an incredibly impressive uh, performer. Um, spin rates, just where I want them to be. Maybe slightly lower. I yeah. think if I was maybe up towards where you are, kind of 3,500, that might be slightly more optimal. Sure. Um, but carry distance 243, total 262, that's basically absolutely spot on where I want to be for three wood. Yeah. So yeah, two thumbs up from me. Yeah, 100%. I think we've talked a lot about in different videos about like what's optimal, what's what's perfect. And I think that is very, very close. Yeah. Uh, I wish they take a lot of this with a pinch of salt because some people will have different opinions um, to ask to Golf Magic, to different media partners. But I think Callaway is going to be very hard to beat overall with uh, yeah. with just Paradigm AI Smoke. Yeah, honest. yeah, the whole range is very great. I would probably actually go into maybe the Triple Diamond to put a five wood. Would you go three wood or what would you do? Um, you know what, I've actually only previously utilized the three wood, but having now kind of got on terms of it, I would be quite fascinated to try out a five wood, okay. um, just to see if it can offer more forgiveness than a hybrid. I've always been a kind of driver three wood hybrid guy. Sure. Um, but yeah, I'd be very keen to try out a five wood in this, or Ooh. the TaylorMade. Well, maybe we could do a video soon of a three wood versus a five wood. Stay tuned for that. But now we're gonna go back to sunny Spain to finalize our thoughts upon the best fairways woods of 2024. Right, Johnny, as we sit at the wonderful halfway house at La Hacienda on the Lynx course, it's got me reflecting, and I think this test is the closest test we've ever done in terms of the categories we've put out. I really think all of these are like excellent fairways, right? Yeah, I mean, you couldn't go wrong picking any one of these five, to be completely honest. Yeah, and there's many more that I think are in play, guys. Like, if you pick any really good brand, you will get a very good fairway wood. For example, I could pick any of these. I could put any of these in play and I'd be very happy. Johnny, I'm gonna pick on the spot here. Which fairway wood would you play? I know we've said Callaway for the best for our viewers, but what would yep. you play? Um, personally, I've really enjoyed using the TaylorMade QI 10. Okay, yeah. interesting. So for me, anyone could hand any of those clubs in my hand and I'd be happy, but I would probably go for Callaway. But as you said, 
I would also lean slightly towards tailor-made if I was having a bad day and needed a little bit of forgiveness. Yeah. So guys, there you have it. Let me know, let us know down in the comments what your favorite fairy wood is of 2024. What do you have in the bag? And if you want us to compare any of these direct head to head, let me know down in the comments. If you are new to Golf Magic, smash that big red subscribe button to keep up to date with all of our videos. Me and Johnny, well, we'll catch you in the next video.